Hello and welcome to the Tracket overview video for Tracket technicians. This video is meant for technicians who will be doing day-to-day -day work tracking help desk tickets or HR tickets or facilities tickets or whichever kind of work your organization or your department has chosen to keep track of in the new Tracket system. So first things first, the way to connect to this system, you're going to have a URL to connect to the Tracket website is somewhere in your organization. The new Tracket application is completely web-based. So you will get this URL which consists of a server name and a website name. Now your, your server name is going to be different. It may even be a domain, mycompany.com slash Tracket. Depends on how your administrator set it up. But either way, you should receive a URL to connect and a user ID and password to log into the system. In some environments, your Tracket administrator may have set up the product so that you can log in using a trusted connection, which means when you connect to the site, it will read your Windows user ID and password and automatically log you into the system. That URL may look slightly different than this one. For the purposes of the demonstration today, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like to use a, a standard Tracket user ID and password. So to start out, I've created a user called Tim and his login ID is T Tech, because he's Tim Technician. And to log into the system here for the first time, there's a default password that's been defined by your administrator. You should receive that along with your user ID so you know how to log in the first time. Your administrator should tell you which group you're in, or your administrator may have just assigned you to a group so you'll only have one to select. As you can see, my Tim Technician user account actually has two groups assigned to him. So he can log into either the help desk group or the system administration group. And this will drive his permissions or things he sees or how his forms look, that type of thing. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and keep system administration. And I'm going to go ahead and click login. Now, the first time you log in to the system with a default password given to you by your administrator, you're probably going to see this message unless your admin has done something to bypass this. So we're going to go ahead and hit change password. We're going to enter in the default one that my admin gave me. And then I'm going to add my own password now and hit update. And you should see that message that the password's been changed. I'm going to go ahead and store it in my browser because it makes it easier for me to log in each time. So now I'm going to go ahead and type that password, hit log in. And now you see the getting started page that all new users see when they log in to track it for the first time. This welcome infographic series is only five pages long. It shows you the basic layout, how the modules are set up, how to use the configuration, and getting started information, like how to get to the communities or how to log a support ticket, things like that. You can go through these things to learn more about how to use the product. Some of this we're going to go ahead and cover today in this video. If you ever want to get back to that getting started, you just go to the menu and track it and click on getting started, and that will take you back to it. But for now, we're going to go ahead and close that and take a look at the interface. So this is the basic interface you're going to see the first time you log into the system. Actually, yours may look somewhat different than this because mine is loaded with some demo data. As a brand new user or brand new customer, most of these graphs will prob probably be blank for you. As an existing customer who's maybe imported some data, you'll have some things showing up here in these charts. These are all customizable. You can change the view, you can change the type of graph, you can change which data appears in here, you can drag these around. There's configuration that you can do to customize these, and this is stored for each technician account, so each person can have their own setup here. If you're interested in learning more about detailed setup of these charts and graphs, check out the video on dashboard customization later on in this series. Some other things to highlight here in the interface, we saw this a moment ago. The main menu is on the left. When you click that, you can see the modules you have access to, the dashboard, which we are on now, other modules that you have permission to, solutions, and help desk in this case, reports, product support. This will take you to the BMC support page for our product. Getting started takes you back to that getting started infographic we saw a moment ago. And about track it will just tell you your serial number and build number for your product. Sometimes a support representative may ask you for this information to verify what build you're on. Some other things to highlight in the interface here, the announcements button. You will see a red indicator appear here when there are new announcements that your administrator has put in for you. 
Clicking on that will show you the announcements for you from your administrator. If you click more, it will take you to the announcements module where you can see all the current announcements and the full detail of those announcements. The help button here will take you to our online help system for TrackIt. And then your user profile drop down here. If you click on it, it tells you a little bit about yourself, your name, your login ID, the group you are in at the moment. It will give you profile settings option and a logout. Let's check out the profile settings since we're here. Here you can see your information about your TrackIt account, your first and last name, contact information. You can also set your availability so that if you're ever out of the office, tickets are not assigned to you while you're not there. You also have the option to change your TrackIt password at any time. If you click on this, you'll see a similar dialog to what we saw earlier, and you'll be able to change your password. Two other things you'll want to check out here on the main interface are the global search and our add new button. The add new button will allow you to add a new ticket or a new solution from anywhere in the product. As you can see right now, I'm in my profile settings, but I could still click add new ticket right from here or add new solution. So if I'm modifying my profile and I get an emergency phone call and I need to open up a ticket really quick, I can just click Add New and hit New Ticket. The global search, if we click on that, allows us to use a keyword search to search for solutions, tickets, or assignments that have the words that we're looking for. If you type a few keywords in here and hit Search, it will open up the search module and show you all of the items that match that search. Now that we've seen an overview of the interface, Let's go ahead and click on our menu here and jump into the help desk module to give you a look at what that looks like. So when you first log in to a brand new system, your view will be set to My Open Tickets and you probably don't have anything in there. If you click on this drop down, you'll see all of the canned views that come with the product, of which you can select any one to see the data in that. So let's go ahead and take all tickets because that will probably have some more information. There we go. So now we see some work order tickets in our view. We click on each one and we see the preview of the information within that ticket so we don't have to open each one just to get an idea what it's about. There are a lot of options on this view. You can click on these drop downs and change the sort order. You can group on certain fields. You can change which fields show up in this list. You can color code things. You can change filters. There are a lot of different options. If you want to learn more about all the detailed configuration options available in the view, check out the video on grid customization later on in this series. You'll also see some actions here that are available to you on the grid. These are things that you can do to the work order tickets from this grid view. We will talk about those in more detail on the working with help desk tickets video later in the series. To open one of these, it's very simple. You can double click and the ticket will open in a new tab within the TrackIt product. So it doesn't open another browser tab, it actually opens another tab within TrackIt. This makes it easy for you to switch back to the help desk and open up another ticket if you need to, in case you need to work on multiple things at one time, or in the case where you're working on a ticket and you need to add a new ticket, the system supports that as well, as it will just open up another new ticket in another tab. Once you're inside this ticket, you can do any kind of editing that you need to do to it, Clicking Save Ticket will save your progress without closing it. You click the little X button in the top right of the tab to actually close the ticket and clear it from your view. Now, closing the ticket out of your view does not complete the work. You actually have to complete the ticket in order to be able to actually close out the work. This X button here just closes the window when you're done working on it. Let's take a look at the Solutions module. The Solutions module looks a little bit different. It is a library of solutions you can use to do research to see if someone else has already solved a particular problem. So let's say somebody calls you and asks about a certain printer issue or a certain error that they're having. You can come in here and try to find that solution by browsing through the different solutions in the tree here. Or you can simply use the keyword search to search for a solution with the particular error message or type of computer system or whatever it is you are trying to fix. You can also add solutions here by using the Add button. The Add button in Solutions allows you to add a new topic, which are the top-level headers you see here below, or add a solution underneath that topic. You can build this hierarchy however you like and organize your solutions however you would like. Now that we've looked at solutions, 
Let's look quickly at the reports module. The reports module has reports separated by the area that they belong to. So we have help desk reports, and they're listed below. And we have solution reports, which will be listed if we click on solutions. The print preview section contains the reports that will print out when you click the print button within the different modules of the product. So currently, if you go into the help desk and you open up a ticket and you click print, this report is the format of that printed ticket. So back to the help desk reports for a moment. As an example, if you want to edit a report, you can click on the report and click the edit button here. You'll notice my edit button is disabled right now, and that is because I'm on a canned report. You cannot update the canned reports that come with the product, but you can copy those and create your own custom versions based on those. So if you want to view a report, you just click on the actual name. When the report viewer comes up, you will most likely receive a date prompt where you can select the date range for the tickets you want to view. Here I will just start at the beginning of the year. And then I'll select a date here and then it's more recent. I'll click Submit, and the report will be generated. So currently, I don't have any tickets that were closed between these dates. But if I did, they would appear here in this view. You can also print and export this report. So I'm going to go ahead and close this preview. If I want to make a copy of this and edit it, I can just click on the lightning bolt menu here, click Copy. A copy is created and then I can click the edit button. If you're interested in more information on creating, customizing, or editing reports, check out the video on custom reporting later on in the series. One other thing to note is the work order ticket form. This work order ticket form, which we saw a moment ago, this may look different depending on your organization or your group because this form can be customized by your administrator. So these fields on the help desk ticket may not look exactly like the ones on this form here. And that is an overview of the new Trackit interface. For more videos in this training series, you can visit our documentation site at docs.bmc.com. If you forget where the documentation is, you can always click the help link in the upper right hand corner inside Trackit. Some other useful resources are the Trackit community where you can talk with other Trackit users and support representatives about how to get the most out of your product. You can reach that site at community.trackit.com. You can also reach our technical support directly by visiting support.trackit.com. And for general product information, you can always visit trackit.com. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful to you.